What's up everybody, it's Matt from 9 Day Performance back with another video behind me. I have a 2015 C7 Corvette that we're gonna be doing a cam uh, lifters job on. Basically it came in, it was having a loud tapping noise, it was diagnosed as having multiple lifters failed. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put a Texas Speeder Performance cam in this car. It's gonna get the LC7 cam, which is a pretty aggressive cam for NA application. Uh, stay tuned for the video, stay tuned for the ride along with us. Like, subscribe, and share down below. And if you guys have any questions, let us know. Again, this is Matt from Night and Day Performance. Stay tuned. So if you follow up to this point, now we have the uh, car behind us. We went ahead and got the intake manifold and everything taken off. Got all the wiring harnesses loose. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and start working on getting the heads off. So we can see what's actually wrong with the car. Um, it came in with a loud lifter tap. So we're investigating to see what it is. Most likely it's the lifters. Uh, it could be something else correlating to the valve train. So we'll find out shortly. Just stay tuned with us. back again we have the cylinder heads removed now as you saw in the video and we have found the issue um, so this right here is what you call a push rod this is a part of the valve train that pushes from the lifters pushes up on the springs and pushes the rocker arms down uh, or up to open and close the valves this is how it's supposed to look that is not how it's supposed to look so as you can see there it looks like something uh, happened and caused a failure the lifter is seized up on that cylinder. It's a Cylinder 8's DOD lifter, um, which is one of the main causes for these failures like this, which is a lifter uh, seizes up, then the cam pushes up, and when the lifter doesn't move and doesn't actually have the hydraulic portion of it, it's known to bend some stuff. And as you can see here, it bent a push rod. So now we're gonna go ahead and get the timing cover and everything tore apart on the vehicle, get uh, the camshaft out, inspect the camshaft to see if we need to do further investigation. We haven't noticed any metal in the pan when we drain the oil, so we don't know if there's any uh, further damage. If there is metal throughout the motor, we're gonna have to do further extensive cleaning. Um, if we don't find evidence of any metal, we'll just put a new cam in it, new push rods, new lifters, uh, get the heads rebuilt by our buddies over at Hooper's Heads, and this Corvette will be ready to go back to its owner. Stay tuned. camshaft is now out here is the camshaft these are the lobes in question that we were looking at to make sure that they were good this is where that lifter seized up and they look perfectly fine uh, the Corvette has around 60,000 miles on it um, so there's no metal shavings there the lifter is all intact um, it's seized up of course but there's no pieces missing of it no evidence of oil throughout the motor so we're gonna go ahead and clean up the top end a little bit um, put a new cam new lifters in it and send it back out the door even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go, 